Yesterday, March 31st, was Trans Day Visibility. And I wanted to dedicate this video specifically for every trans woman, trans man, the whole transgender community. And I'm ready to watch a video. Are you? As y'all know, Nikita Dragon is trans. She identifies herself as a woman, and quite honestly, she's a beautiful woman at that. She is half Mexican and half, I'm not quite sure, but, but Asian for sure. But in this video that she uploaded, it's called Telling Guys I'm Transgender. Okay, so apparently she's on either FaceTime with these guys or on some type of app, and she goes ahead and lets them know that she's transgender but I'm assuming she doesn't let them know till after a conversation. So let's go ahead and watch. Um, this is a 30 minute video, so we gotta get to it. Y'all ready? Let's go. Hi dragons, what's up? It's Nikita, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm telling guys I'm trans. Ah, what? <laughs> what bitch? Today, March 31st, is Trans Day of Visibility, a day we celebrate the trans community, we acknowledge accomplishments of trans people, and ultimately try to spread awareness and knowledge so that people can have a better understanding of the trans community. Last year, I was able to go to Hollywood Boulevard and talk to a complete stranger I remember and that. tell them I am transgender. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out because it is one of my absolute favorite videos I've done to this day. To this day! So March 31st is Trans Day, okay? But I, I do understand that it's April 1st. Listen, I film a day after. To this day! Just because I felt like I had an idea of what people might say and obviously I've been very public and very visible on all my platforms, which I think is very important because I choose to live my life visibly in order to help another trans person, in order to educate, even if people kind Good. of have their comments, which they've had over the years of me, you know, they want to say, you're not a real woman, you know, you look like a dude, you have surgery, there's just so much stigma. She's a woman, y'all. Whether you want to believe it or not, she put in so much work, so much effort physically to match her inside. So, listen, she, that's a woman. <laughs> she looks like a woman to me. She sounds like a woman to me. Uh, she has mannerisms of a woman. That's a woman. Comes with being trans, and I feel like as a person who has this big platform, I really just seek to educate. If you haven't seen my trans journey, obviously I've shown everything from the beginning to now, and it is quite a journey. I actually was watching my surgery video back and I literally couldn't even watch it because I was like I just can't even go down that road anymore it's just <laughs> so crazy maybe in the future I'll do a reacting video or something but anyways in today's video I will be going completely virtual obviously unfortunately the world is in a crisis in a pandemic and we are facing a time where we really need to come together as people so I'm staying safe I'm at home I'm washing my hands and I'm doing my part in order to help us all so I'm quarantined but I still wanted to do something really cool so i have i just got off work i'm working night shift this whole week i work at a hospital i'm a sterile tech for the or there's still some surgeries happening so we have to be there there's no visitors allowed only visitors for close to death patients and birth patients and that's only one visitor at a time and those people had to take their temps before they go in their temperatures and now all employees in the hospital have to take their have to take their temperatures before walking inside. We have to show our badges, and they also provide us a mask. So we have to wear a mask literally our whole shift, every day, to protect ourselves and others. So that's my life right now, and here I am, filming on YouTube. Kind of like idea to go virtual and going on Omegle. I've seen so many amazing YouTubers and my friends like. James, I've seen um, Larray go on Omegle and do these really crazy like chat videos. So I was thinking for Trans Day of Visibility, I still want to spread awareness and I want to tell you guys and these strangers that I'm meeting facts. 
So I thought the best way to do it was to go digital. And let me tell you guys. Girl, be careful because if you're going on Omegle, or however you pronounce it, I've seen YouTubers go on that and you get some fucked up people on there. So be prepared. If you're mentally strong, go ahead. Handle your business. I used to go on Omegle. I used to go on Chat Roulette. I used to go on, I feel like there was another one too, like back in high school. And I used to love to like throw on a wig and I would try to make my voice as like feminine as possible in order to like, you know, catfish these guys. That was like my thing. I was like You're 12, fun. 13 years old. Your entertainment. Me, so I feel like this is like full circle because I have yet to go on. <laughs> As Nikita fully realized with you know the breast assist and all I'm definitely they're bigger than mine <laughs> very interested okay. to see people's reactions obviously I also even saw my friend Louis do a video kind of like this where he went on with a wig and was kind of like catfishing the guys and they were like are you a dude are you not a dude so I'm really really nervous but I'm excited I'm not down to catfish anybody but they do have me interested in trying it out not not catfishing but going on Omegle and talking to random strangers and just seeing what happens. What do y'all think? Should I do it? Comment below, let me know. The biggest thing with this video, I don't want it to be taken too seriously. Trans Day of Visibility is a day to celebrate. Obviously there are days like, oh my God, Lorraine is literally FaceTiming me. Wait, I'm filming a video, do you want to say hi? Lorraine, are you I guys? swear to God, he's always in every video that I'm watching right here and I'm logged on to Omegle. Mind you, I'm in my closet because I just didn't want it to be like a full book. Girl, that's your closet. That's bigger than my room. That's like three times bigger than my room. That's your fucking closet. That's crazy. And look at that little makeup thing. What do you call that? That little pink thing in the corner? You know, a little sponge that y'all be putting on your face? That's cute. I mean, I don't know what it is, but that's cute. Studio, because I feel like people would catch on and just be really weird. I'm gonna ask for everyone's consent to be on this video. Okay, cool. Um, and what else should I say? I don't know. I'm so nervous to go on this site. Like I said, I haven't been on since I was Nick Dragon, and now I'm the Kita Dragon. Just get so. on, girl. Get to it. Pray for me. Get to I'm it. So scared. Oh my God. Hey. Oh God. I'm nervous God. for her. I ain't gonna lie Three to you. Quarantine. That's not social distancing. Oh. oh my god, this mask is crazy. Oh my god, hey. <laughs> Hello? Wait, do you speak English? No. Yeah, just a little bit. Do I have something to tell you? She looks so Wait, nervous. Guys... Nikita, why are you so nervous? Be confident, come on. Like trans people in Germany. Trans? Uh huh. Trans. Oh. No. I, no? I'm a trend. <laughs> yes, could you tell? <gasps> oh. That's how oh it is. God, like, he literally clicked off so fast. Well, I was about to tell him that 80% of trans people feel unsafe in their schools and especially with trans youth. I, for sure, at some points had moments where, where I didn't feel as safe in school, so it's just a really high statistic that trans people have to face. Like I remember verbally getting names at me all the time and just feeling so uncomfortable, especially when it came to the bathroom situation. So I don't really know how it is with trans people in Germany, but you guys clearly saw it's crazy. I wouldn't imagine it would be any type of- Girl, don't judge, don't judge a whole country after one person. That was one person. Wait guys, like I don't know. That was crazy. I mean, this is crazy. We have a lot of those people here too, okay? <laughs> uh oh. Wait, what? Uh -oh. Please tell me you got it. What? Are you a Ew, I'm gonna click next. That's disgusting. Ew. Um, <laughs> well, that was absolutely disgusting. I just got my first T word, rhymes with granny, derogatory oh, word that really is just not cute <laughs> for trans people. Just statements like that and words like that are just so disgusting. I would never use that towards anyone. It's now, you wouldn't think that's a bad word because it is short for transgender, tranny, right? The problem with that is and why it's derogatory is because People use that word in a bad way. Just like fag. Fag is not a bad word, but when you use it in a negative way, in a negative term, then it's gonna come across derogatory, right? And that's what happened here. 
deeply unfortunate that that's like such a common word used to describe the trans community. I think to educate people, because I think it is just a lack of education, it's more using the words just trans, girl, like it shouldn't even just matter, you know, if someone is trans or not. And especially using that word is so disheartening and it's just a commonality unfortunately in some people's especially trans people's everyday life also another random thing i've noticed throughout the years and especially more recent is like usually a girl done up really cute because i've even experienced it with my cisgender friends where guys have leaned over to me and been like oh is she trans like but said it, you know in a derogatory way or like has views that a nasty gross word that i will not allow on my channel Damn. so it's just a really weird thing because i think it also creates almost like a transphobia from cisgender females because like some girls i know who get called oh like are you a dude like are, are you trans like da, da, da. like i see girls get asked that all the time who are just really done up and super pretty so i feel like sometimes not any of the people that i've met but sometimes in some girls cases like obviously being called that so often they create this kind of like transphobia against trans people because obviously guys assume that they are trans or whatever or like other girls are like oh are you trans because they're just like super done up they look really good and i just like wish and i want that to end fully because it's so disgusting it shouldn't matter if you're super dressed up or not using that word is just like so disgusting i'm just gonna let it slide for now i think even just i will say this i love the fact that she's also educating in this video i have of course came across a lot of transgender people but i have not been close to them to the point where i know all the answers because i don't know so watching this video i'm also getting educated so we're learning y'all we're learning and since like that the biggest thing i think in the trans agenda or things that you could kind of implement if you don't know where to start if you are trying to look and seek to be more educated about trans people the simple things like using the right pronouns obviously not using that word it is so disgusting do not use it it rhymes with granny it's a trans word it's very derogatory and it's so gross um using the right pronouns like i said not asking like are you a girl are you a guy have you gotten the surgery now from my understanding i think it's okay and correct to say um what do you identify what do you identify as i've been asked that twice in my lifetime so i haven't been asked that many times but i have been asked what do what do you identify as and i'm thinking it's because they think i'm it's a possibility that i might be trans it's because i dress in men's clothing <coughs> my hair is short but no i am a woman lesbian woman but i do think it's okay to ask what do you what do you identify as because there are so many trans people who, yes, of course, go... I could be wrong. I don't know. I did not find it offensive when someone asked me. ...surgeries in order to realize their identity, but that's not the case for everyone, and not everyone needs to get surgeries in order to realize their identity. And also, too, like, another thing I remember is, like, people bringing up, like, oh, well, why would you transition just to, you know, be gay or to be lesbian? You know, gender and your sexual Sexuality orientation are two different. completely different things. Two different things. There's some people who transition, like my... Exactly. Well, I'll let her explain. Friend, um, Gigi Gorgeous. She is a fully realized woman. She's trans and she is dating, or sorry, she's married. Oh my gosh, she got a ring on it, girl. I have, to, <laughs> I have to say it right. She is fully married and she's married to a woman and she is lesbian. So there are things like that where yeah, yeah. even if you, you know, transition and go to like a different gender, oh, I know it's a little bit hard to wrap your mind around, but gender and sexuality and sexual orientation are completely two different things and two different topics. Every yep. time I tell people this, they start to get really confused and bug-eyed. You guys, it's not that confusing. It really is not. Sexual orientation is different than what you identify as your gender. Totally different things. It's not, it's not that complicated. I think people just make it more complicated than what it is. But it's just conversations like this that help give knowledge and that help have a deeper understanding for the trans community. I think, like I said, I'm gonna be called this word for the rest of my life always. And I never get mad about it for some reason. I feel like it's just more of an educational thing. I think even when people like, you know, use this derogatory word and term for me, I just kind of brush it off because it's just a lack of education. They really don't know about the trans community. True. They don't know True. necessarily the ins and outs of it. You know, they only know like the surface level. And so I just try to be, you know, as civil about it as possible. But unfortunately, so many- Educate, if they are open-minded and they are willing to learn, Educate rather than get offended so quickly. It could just be them being ignorant. Like they don't know people who are, 
So it's their first encounter, it could be, and they don't know the correct terms that they could or shouldn't be using. So always educate before you assume anything. And once you realize that they are close-minded and they meant what the hell they said, that's when you check them and then just get the fuck away from there. There's people- There's just some people that are not willing to learn. Attacked on the daily and it's just so disheartening. So that's why I'm trying to at least spread a little bit more, girl. Like, I don't know, this thing's crazy. Hey. <laughs> Oh, it's fine. Okay. Uh oh, here we go. Yo. Let's see. Oh. Morning, <laughs> sir. Oh my god, I like your mustache. So cute. Oh my god, you're like the first person to like talk on here and not show me your dick. I'm like, really surprised. <laughs> I was like, you're beautiful. Why don't you go over Okay, he's the sweet one on Omigo. That's a, that's a start. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what language is this? What? What language is this? This is Bulgarian. Do you know that? Okay, Bulgarian. Bulgarian. All right, Bulgarian. No, I didn't know that. I didn't know you could even rap in Bulgarian like that. All right. Okay, are you performing for me? Is this a performance? Yeah. I love it. It's so good. I want more. Want Wait, more? but I have a question. Yeah. Are there trans people in Bulgaria? Of course they are. How was like the treatment and stuff with like trans people in Bulgaria? Like everywhere else. I mean, they don't treat them good. I mean, they say, look at trans, look at gay, look at lesbian, uh -huh. of course. But the people are stupid. Also here in Bulgaria, they are really stupid. That's good crazy. for you. I like I his, his, his mind. About that. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't hate them. I don't love them. I'm in the middle. Yeah. Like, did you know yeah. I was trans? No. I I mean that you're a pretty nice girl. Aww. Are you gonna play some more? More? <laughs> I wish I understood what he was saying. And I wish she was dancing better than that. Girl. Okay, okay. Girl, I don't know I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> While you have your little situation out, uh, I'm just trying to tell you that I'm trans. Did you know? Oh. Could you tell? Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, today is Trans Day of Visibility. I know you have your little situation out, but I was just trying to celebrate because obviously, like, spreading word about the trans community. Girl, how can you? <laughs> how can you talk to him with his pee pee out? That's nasty. I would have hung up on his ass real quick. And they're allowed to show this on Omega? I, I, I don't want to go on there if that's the case. He's like really important. I do not so. want to see that. Okay, I'm, I'm literally talking to your dick right now. Oh my god. How are you just going to whip it out like that? Oh my Girl, you like it. Stop playing. Stop playing. Look, because look. Let me rewind it real quick. Look at your face, girl. Really important, obviously, so. Hey, Kim, I'm literally talking to your dick right now. Look at her face. Oh my god. She literally puts her hand out like, oh my god. When you put your hand out, you're supposed to be blocking the image, but you're clearly not because your hand is down here <laughs> and you're still looking at it. Stop playing. How are you just gonna whip it out like that? Oh my god. Are you just like um, dancing around or what? Here we go. Yeah. Yo, I literally have seen so many dicks on this damn thing. I, my mind, like my eyes are burned forever. Hey, 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 don't worry. I'm a chicken on you, man. Okay. Uh, Where are you from? I'm from Virginia, man. I'm from Virginia. I'm from Virginia, baby. Fairfax. Fairfax County? Yes. No, fuck Yeah. Oh, I'll be on staff right now. Oh my god, Lorraine, oh my god, that is so close. You live right here? I live, I live in Fairfax. I know, Scott, we need to hang out. Look at him get it so excited. He acts like he's never had a girlfriend in his life, and he, or he's never talked to a pretty woman before. But it sounds like the conversation's going well, so now she's about to reveal that she's trans. Let's see what happens. Sir, I can't talk to strangers online, that's scary. Wait, wait, trust me. No! I'll, I'll be okay. Wait, I have something to tell you. Here we you. go. I'm yeah. trans. Did you know that? Could you tell? Yeah, girl. But I'm a girl, yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't take him back, huh? Wait, what? No, I'
Oh my god, wow, it's not a penis. Okay, Wait. well, it, it, don't know what really happened at the end, but it seemed like he took it okay. <laughs> Your dick out, I'm scared. <gasps> Sir, so I see you blushing, don't be blushing <laughs> like that. Well, I do have something to tell you. So I'm trans. Well, I was just trying to spread awareness because today is Trans Day of Visibility, so I just wanted to like, you know, let people know that I'm trying to fight the stigma against trans people and just trying to educate and stuff. Because you know, one in five trans people experience like homelessness. I mean, have you met trans people over in Florida? These faces, these faces from you are getting me. Oh, he's rubbing his face, okay. Jeez. Are you okay? Oh God, your dick is not out. <laughs> is he jagging off? What's with it? Why do people not talk on this thing? Oh Maybe my. I look cute for myself. <laughs> That's why I have makeup on in lockdown. Can I not look cute? Girl. Why do you have your shirt off in lockdown? Girl, he's plain. Can you please end that conversation? I look decent. Okay. That's pretty good. Being that you're such a solid 10 yourself. Being that you're literally so hot. Kind of look like a Oh, well, I am shit. trans. Here we go. That's a very derogatory word. You shouldn't use that word. Have a nice life, bro. Uh, it's still disrespectful. You had to say bro at the end. Come on, man. What, what, what did she do to you? <coughs> this is crazy. Oh my god, wait, that's scary. Hi. Hey. Wait, please tell me you're not about to whip out your dick, please. <gasps> no. <laughs> Are you in Brazil? Yeah. Brazil? I love yeah. Brazilian funk. I listen to like Kevino. That's actually so crazy that they're from Brazil because Brazil has one of the highest fatality rates of trans people out there in the world. Really? There was 330 deaths last year from trans violence, being transphobia. Um, unfortunately, people have lost their lives. It is a constant oh, battle, especially so for people of color. It is awful. It honestly brings chills to my spine, the fact that people just living their identity, just living their life can be attacked because maybe someone doesn't agree with their lifestyle or maybe someone is just not educated and it's so disheartening. And especially in a place like Brazil, unfortunately, 130 people died last year. That is 130 trans people wow. when worldwide 330 people died. So unfortunately, wow. Brazil is like one of the highest in terms of transphobia, in terms of violent trans acts, and it is really, really unfortunate because I love Brazil. That's I've horrible. Never been before, but I just really hope that other places in the world can change. If you haven't been there, don't go. Just for your safety, it's not worth risking your life. It's just not right. Oh my God! Please don't whip out your dick. <laughs> I have something to tell you. I'm trans. Can you tell? Oh. Currently, there's only 18 states that protect trans workers and employees from not being fired just because they are trans, which is an what? unfortunate reality. I think one of the bigger issues and topics for trans people to bring up on Trans Day of Visibility is just legal protection. There's so many different laws that haven't passed. There's so many kind of loopholes, especially in situations for trans people. Only 18 states? How is that even possible? Freedom where? Where is there freedom in this country? Well, and just the LGBTQ plus community in general of being fired for your sexual orientation. And that's the crazy thing about it all is we can get fired for who we are and who we identify as and what our sexuality orientation may be. And we wouldn't have proof of it. It's hard to prove something like that. For your gender identity, and especially there's only, what, like 17 states that protect public discrimination of anyone in the LGBTQ plus community. Damn. So that being bars, rough I think I live in a good state, I think, when it comes to that. Because I haven't come across any, anything bad in that, in that case. But I should look more into it. So whatever, that they're able to... I live in the state of Illinois, by the way literally kick you out just because you're trans, which is so unfortunate. I've had my moments wow. where I felt very uncomfortable, where I didn't feel welcomed. Fortunately enough for me, I've never faced it myself, but especially for POC trans people, it is staggering the statistics that I see every day. I see these What's things up on my Twitter, and it is just, it's really scary just things that I witness happen. What is po POC? If you know, please comment below. 
and around the world i've seen videos of people getting dragged out of restaurants i've seen videos of their partners being attacked because they're openly loving a trans person it's just a really sad reality of the world but at the same time i'm extremely hopeful for change and hopefully through being extremely visible we're able to educate and we're able to at least start the conversation and especially in terms of legal protection protection i think everyone deserves their human rights and everyone deserves protection under, under the government just to of course live Bitch. No, not the same way. Bitch. Yep, it is. <laughs> that sure is Nikita. You better take out that cell phone. You know what it is. Girl, who you better be you, you better be acting good on Omigo, girl. No, you're you're not this is not real. It's definitely not. Is <laughs> that no? No, I'm kidding, I mean it's definitely real. <laughs> Yo, you know what's so crazy? I was watching the videos of you yesterday. What? You're lying. You're literally lying. It's out, Brendan. You guys do like videos? Yo. That wasn't yesterday. She hasn't done a video with Brendan in like, that was a good five, six videos back. Well, I just want to say hi, girl. Be safe, wash your hands, be in quarantine. You're so gorgeous, your skin is clear, and you look so. Love you. Hey. That's the first thing you're gonna say to you, me. You must be a kid. Okay. You must Let be a kid. Your boobs. Yes. <laughs> Wait, I have something. I have something to tell you. What's that? I, I'm transgender. Oh. Oh. That's a oof. An oof. You were all about two seconds ago. <laughs> and why did I know that he was going to react in that way? Because he's a kid. <laughs> Doesn't know I'm any better. Gay people. Well, I'm not gay, um, but I'm just a cisgender girl. I'm regular. ABC. Oh, not the ABC. It's just LGBTQ+. Yeah, I said LGBTQ plus LGBTQ. Okay, come on, you 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 got it. You you are, you almost got all of them. That's pretty good. Well, that was that was unexpected. I feel really bad now. Well, you sh today's Trans Day of Visibility, so you should appreciate the trans community. Yes. Oh my God! Hey. <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm honestly so confused too. Are you Bitch, I am the Kita Dragon. It is. <laughs> Yeah, I'm filming. I'm filming a YouTube video right now. Oh my god. Where are you? Are you guys good? Are you quarantined? Are you are you good? Yeah. I love that you're just like not paying attention. <laughs> are there like trans people in Michigan? Yeah, right. <laughs> Girl, they're everywhere. <laughs> Did you know I'm trans? Uh oh. What? Did you know I'm trans? No, you ain't. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Are you a guy? I was, I was born a male, yeah. Damn. But I just wanted to, because today is Trans Day of Disability, so I just wanted to spread awareness, because obviously being trans is really crazy, but you seem like really cool, so that's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's crazy. It is a little bit of a, like, it a little bit of a mind thing. Do you have, like, any questions? No, like, I don't <laughs> you're so sweet. Okay, well, I'll let you go back to your game. He's a good guy. Nice meeting you. You're really dope. All right, thank you. He was so sweet. Yeah. Hey. I like your hair. He scares me a little bit. <laughs> oh, wait, you're not going to talk? Okay, that's like boring. Yeah, why do people do that? <gasps> Stop it. What did he say? Um, wait, I have something to tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm trans. Even more power to you, I support the hell out of you. Okay, Thank that's you. what's up. That means a lot. Well, because today is like Trans Day of Visibility, so... I look like shit right now, but I use they, them pronouns myself. I, what? I do they, them? I do this thing, yeah. That's amazing. That's oh, incredible. Okay. Well, it was so nice meeting you. You're so dope. 
military next meeting you, you are also dumb. <laughs> Top five. Hi. <laughs> Look how excited he got when he saw her. Nikita, that's gotta make you feel good. Come on now. I ain't gonna lie to you, you're prettier than a lot of girls out here in these streets that are that were born as women, okay? But look at this guy. Hi. Look at him. <laughs> Calm down, killer. Tell me you're not gonna like whip out your dick or something because that's like so scary. I don't know, you could, I, I don't know. I know, I'm literally so bored, I'm like Look how interested he's in, he even scoots his chair closer to the camera. I'm worried to see what's gonna happen when she reveals that she's trans. Stop thinking. No, it's just a, it's also in the street, I would go to school. You would what? I would go to smash, right? Wait, gobsmack? Wait, where are you from? Cool. Oh, London. Legend. Oh my god. <laughs> you got him so nervous. London, um, at the end of March and obviously like all this stuff happened. So like I This is so exciting. Yeah. Really? How many how many dicks have you seen on this damn thing? Because I've literally seen nothing but dicks. Yeah, but this is some people interesting. Some people like food. Yeah. Is that what is that what you do? Do you like to perform for everyone or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Well, <laughs> I have something to tell you though. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, I'm trans. Wow. Could you tell? No, red. Right. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He doesn't look like he lost interest. Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah. Well, I guess I was, of course, today in America it's Trans Day of Visibility, so I was just trying to spread the like, awareness and just like have the conversation. How was it? Huh? What? <laughs> you are giving me all the looks over here. Yes, he <laughs> is. He is so interested. Am I falling in love over Omigo? You he is stop. interested. You know what? We had our Omigo moment, but now I feel like it's time to FaceTime some random. You know damn well that they shared, uh, what do you call it? Social media. I don't know, people don't give each other's numbers no more, so I'm pretty sure they give each other's snaps or Instagrams. Guys, and tell them that I'm trans. Chiquita, Chiquita, are you drinking? Is that you signaling that these guys are really thirsty? No, I'm just kidding. That's so scary. Hey. Hey. How are you doing? Uh, on a video game. So I have something to tell you. Here we go. <laughs> I'm trans. Born a guy, male, biologically, but I have transitioned to female. This is prank? No, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm being serious. Like, no prank thing. No, I, I swear, hands to God, I'm being serious. I thought you knew, you didn't know. No! What? <laughs> no one told me, what? Yeah. You're 100% trying to Yes! Oh my God. I mean... How do you feel? How do you... How I feel right now. How do you feel? Kind of like put in the words. Mm. For the fellas out there that are thinking the same thing I'm thinking. You're still bad. You're still bad. <laughs> You're still bad. No matter what, I still look at you. As a female, that is very attractive looking. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, that okay. good. Hey. Well, howdy, stranger. What are you doing? What's this? I'm at home. Wait, look. Oh. Hold up, I got the YouTube one. Okay, okay, come on. Oh, there you go. Wait, not the full Should I do His eyebrows, though. Yeah, do the TikToks. Do it again. <laughs> there you go. That's how you do it. You can be TikTok. Listen, right? I'm gonna get on TikTok one of these days. I'm gonna do it. Wait, okay. Wait, okay, I have something to tell you. Shh, you're not letting me answer. Let me say it. Alright, tell me something. Okay, wait, it's a serious comment. Is this you, is this you confessing your love to me? No. No? So I'm trans. Congrats! <laughs> Congrats. Good. Thank you. you. Beautiful. I just think you're like super confident and comfortable with your own sexuality and you're like a bros bro. So I just wanted to give you like a little call and just 
I don't know. I mean, today's Trans Day of Visibility, so it's like a celebration for the trans community. And um, yeah, I just want to call you. Okay, well, um, thanks for being so dope. Um, I guess I'll slide into the museum later. Yeah, do you want for me? Mm, nothing about it. Okay, bye. <laughs> he was open. He was open minded. Lorraine, hey, what's up, Lorraine? I know we've been talking for so long. And like, <laughs> I know I've been sliding into your DMs, and I feel like I've been kind of lying to you, you know. And <laughs> yeah. before our relationship develops any further, I just really wanted to tell you something. What you, I was kind of scared. What did you want to tell me? And um, you know, I'm trans. <gasps> I thought you were a Gemini. <laughs> oh my God! What the? For a really long time. I know you haven't been able to tell, but I just... Are you sure? Is that all you wanted to tell me? Yeah, is that, is that all you feel about the situation? I mean, I think you should let out a little more. <laughs> Alright guys, I think that is enough of video chatting for now. Happy Trans Day of Disability. Happy this Trans Day to everyone. This to my trans brothers and sisters. I'm so honored to be a part of this community and living my life as visibly as possible. I know I definitely make my mistakes, but I try to be as much as I can an example for our community. I think we are so beautiful and we deserve more than a day, but we're just gonna settle with this amazing day. Happy Trans Day of Visibility from me to you. I love you guys. Let's continue to be involved, not only celebrate the trans community, but also spread knowledge so that others can hopefully maybe change their ideals awareness and just become a lot more educated because i really have discovered it's just all a thing of education it's all it I is can't be mad I, i'm one of those people who thinks that you know people aren't born to hate they just might learn it from you know just the agree. insecurities of just not knowing certain things but or in their family whatever, i'm living my authentic happy truth and no one's gonna stop me because baby i'm here this is my one life and baby, if you don't accept me, I don't care, but you will respect me. And Bam. you will respect all people, especially those in the LGBTQ plus community. Yes. If you like this video <laughs> or you have any more questions, be sure to comment them down below. I'm gonna go back and reply to a bunch. And I all right, so that's that video. She's gonna just go ahead and do what I'm about to do in a couple seconds. So I decided to do this video because I'm also trying to share awareness and also educate myself as well. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time I upload. See you in the next video. Peace.